Hey everybody, welcome back. Got another Mustang here. It's a 1969 Mach 1 R code 428 Cobra Jet with the C6 automatic transmission, nodular 31 spline rear end. This is a very cool car, uh, California car. It was sold new in California. Spent all of its life in California until uh, about a week ago. It's uh, what I would consider a survivor car. All of the paint, except for a couple panels, which I'll get to, is original paint. Uh, I've gauged it with a paint gauge all over. Very cool car. <clears throat> Factory Ram Air. Found the build sheet uh, under the rear seat. This car has zero rust, and I mean, like, literally none. Uh, no patchwork, no nothing. It's all original metal. Very original car. There's the build sheet. Some old registrations. There's original door tag. That is the factory collar combo. It's got the original dash van tag. Original interior, uh, the front seats were recovered. It had different front seats in it, um, but got the front seats, recovered the front seats, but did not do anything else to the interior. Original carpet, original seats, all original seat belts. Uh, headliners in perfect shape. There's no mouse holes above the visors. Steering wheel is actually in really good shape, cleaned up nice. <clears throat> Car shows 5,149 miles, but I'd say it's 105. Factory Air, it was a factory air car, or is a factory air car. So the only panels that have been painted, the driver door was painted at one point in time, and the fender from this line down was painted. But everything else is original paint. Uh, buffed it out. It shined up nice, but you know, it's original paint. So it's got checking here and there. Scratches, dings. This is probably the most original car I've had. I mean, probably the driest. There's a factory paint stamp. It's got the original trunk mat still in it. It was kind of folded up. I did throw a new gas tank in. All original seam sealer, sound deadener. Car is super dry. Got videos of the bottom, pictures. <clears throat> literally no rust in the whole car um, not even something that's been covered up bottoms of the quarters are perfect looks like they did add a uh Cobra shift handle. Dash pad is cracked. I tried to find a new dash pad, but <clears throat> it seems like the only dash pads they sell are black, ginger, and diable. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's all factory paint. Like I said, I buffed it. Factory paint on the hood. You can see where the other lines kind of faded off. got its original engine. Uh, I've got a picture of the van on the back of the driver's side of the block. Original radiator, uh, San Jose radiator. You can see how nice these spot welds are. You know, anybody that knows Mustangs know that, uh, you know, where the panels overlap on these four corners, they normally get round and crusty, but these are mint. Power brakes, power steering, 
all that works. Uh, they put, you know, obviously they've changed the plug wires. Um, they changed the shaker base. And they changed the intake manifold. But otherwise, blockheads, exhaust manifolds, R servo, transmission with the cast iron tail shaft, nodular rear, 31 spline axles. No rust on the edges of the hood. There's your wrap around shot towers. So, <clears throat> a couple little day two changes, maintenance, uh, things like that. All original glass, even the windshield's original. Start it up. Original radio. There's your uh, air vents. Like I said, it needs a dash pad. That's the wrong key. Car starts right up. If you're interested in the car, it's probably going to go quick. Thanks for watching. Not sure if it's in the last video. You can probably hear a little bit of like a scrape or something. The fan was hitting the shroud barely right there. That's what that was. Just wanted to clarify that. The engine sounds great. Survivor R code Mach 1. Just take a little driving video. Our steering works great. Overall, she does good for being 
All right, here's the uh, underside of the 69 Survivor car from California. Super dry. I'll just go over and show you everything. Still see the red oxide. Disc brakes, power steering. Nine B twenty one date. Torque boxes are mint. Still see the paint color on that. All original floors. Our servo trans. Perfect torque boxes, perfect rails, perfect floors, rear torque boxes. You see they still have the collar on them. Rear end <clears throat> modular. Standard <clears throat> shot car because it was an automatic. Rear frame rails, perfect. Rear the bottoms of the quarters, perfect. Inside still has the seam sealer. Nine inch factory seam sealer, no rust. Bottoms of the quarters. Cast iron tail, C6. See the part number there. And it is cast iron. Looks like it's got the factory original H pipe on it. They put some different mufflers on. Factory exhaust manifolds. Looks like they put a starter on it. You can see the part number on the exhaust manifolds. The car is like mint from a body perspective. Original radiator still in the car. Picture of the vent number on the back of the block. <clears throat> they stamped the vent on the trans, but it's really hard to get to. Well, there's the bottom.